Now, Seth MacFarlane. He's the 25-year-old wonder boy behind a much-anticipated new cartoon for Fox. And Fox Files got an inside look at the guy behind the family guy. This Super Bowl Sunday, we'll see who's got the goods to be the best. Touchdown! And Fox is hoping to score a touchdown of its own with this guy. Damn, damn crap, damn it to hell, son of a... His name is McFarlane, <laughs> Seth McFarlane. And he joins Team Fox as the creative force behind the cutting-edge animated sitcom, Family Guy. That's what we're hoping, is, it, is it'll be the kind of show where you can tune in and, and you won't know what to expect. Family Guy is about the life of the Griffin clan. They're coming from such radically different directions, each one of them. Promise me, Peter. It's headed up by a politically incorrect pop. A drop of alcohol is going to touch these lips tonight. Hey, who wants to play Drink the Beer? Right here. Sort of an animated Archie Bunker. All right, what do I win? Another beer! Peter's the father. He's basically the quintessential loudmouth New Englander. Chris, that's it. I'll go on welfare. Who, uh, who talks before he thinks. Do you have any disabilities on your record? Oh, I didn't have gas for the first time until I was 30. <laughs> what the hell was that? There's a sensitive and supportive wife. Peter, we need to talk about this welfare thing. Two teenagers and a dog, if you can call them that. 6,000 chicken fajitas with sauce. And a sausage McMuffin, please. But the show's secret weapon is a diabolical baby named Stewie. Hello, Mother. He sort of fancies himself much better, superior to those around him. Now, I offer you one last chance for deliverance. He's actually capable of, of, of backing up his arguments with real weapons. Return my mind control device or be destroyed. At only 25, Seth is the image of the 90s Hollywood hotshot. I'd do it for you. Young and rich, with a deal worth two and a half million bucks. It hasn't really sunk in at all. Gladly, you know, do the same job for, uh, for, for much less. Seth has drawn since he was two years old, so it's no surprise that after he graduated from the Rhode Island School of Design, he went to work for Hanna-Barbera. But it was an eight-minute short of Family Guy that prompted Fox to pair him up with King of the Hill producer David Zuckerman. Really Seth's producing style is hands-on. He writes show scripts and voices three of the main characters. Uh, uh, Lois, it's time you started living like the piece of Schmidt you are. So where does a 25-year-old guy who writes about killer babies get his sense of humor? Your life, however, is more like a box of active grenades! During a break in production, Fox Files took a trip back home to find out if Seth's humor is really all in the family. Was he always a very funny kid? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he was. <laughs> I'm a very funny mother. When you look at that family and, you, you know, you see the different characters, do you know anyone like that? I thought it was kind of funny at the fact that the little boy constantly wants to kill his mother. Did he which... get in any trouble for his drawing? Uh, yeah. What kind of stuff? He was the cartoonist for the school paper, and the character in his cartoon is taking communion. The comment underneath said, could I have fries with that, please? And Seth can still remember how a local priest reacted to that cartoon. Dear Seth, shame on you for insulting the almighty God and those who love him. Signed, Father Flynn. Hey man, your clock won't flush. We asked him if shocking people is his game plan with the family guy. If it's, if it's funny, we'll put it in, but we'll, we'll, we're never out to just piss somebody off. All of a sudden, you get a big contract thrown at you. Do you feel like now, like, I got some cash in the bank. Come yeah, on, buddy, get I bought a Mercedes. I bought a, I got a Mercedes. That's, 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 right that's it. But that's it. Just for safety reasons. And we couldn't help but ask Mrs. McFarland what she and Seth's father, Ron, thought about their son's new bank account. Um, Ron and I started planning our retirement. Have um, you discussed with Seth the responsibility that a child has to do the right thing by the parents? Oh, well, yeah. I.e., boat, fancy, expensive vacations. Yeah, not those yet, but after you leave, we're going to talk about that. Before we left, I got Seth to do my portrait. Go heavy on the hair. Don't go light and don't go light on the hair. And Fox Files got a taste of what the McFarlands call humor with a pair of old panties. We helped make Perry the butt of a long-standing family joke. Now, I hope those aren't yours. We had a guest who left these at our house. And a large guest. And then the next day, I found them wrapped around a package of boneless chicken in our freezer. <laughs> Back in L.A., the family guy is getting its finishing touches. So we asked Seth, in a battle between Bart and Stewie, who would win? Stewie actually has an arsenal. I don't think Bart would have a chance. Ah, damn you all! Family Guy premieres next Sunday after the Super Bowl, right here on Fox.